Speaking of unusual locations, hey everybody, it's Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Barnyard. In the last episode, we did the last bike race against the Jersey Cows. So they finally got through their head. They're better than us. That we are better than us, sorry. <laughs> and that the past 10 times that I got lucky was actually not luck at all. It was just them being ridiculously easy to beat. <clears throat> and also at the end of the episode, I had like this, I think I had like this major hallucination that Otis wanted to play golf. I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure it was a hallucination, so don't worry. I'm sure we'll be fine. We don't actually have to play golf. It was just a hallucination of mine that actually looked like it, it was actually true. <laughs> like it actually happened in the game. Okay, what am I, what am I saying, alright? In this episode, we're going to start by buying some more stuff for the Night Barn. And then we'll figure out what the last mission is from there. That will end off chapter, ch chapter 6. So, I'm pretty certain that this is the last episode of chapter 6, alright? So, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to go up to Gopher Hill. And we're going to go inside again. Yay, hop in. Hopping on things. How to buy things for the bar. Okay, so. Wait, actually, hang on. Remember, I bought some lemons at the Izzy Springs Golf Course. We might as well sell those and get some extra money. Yeah, why not? We have opened all night. You know, I should have saved those for. Oh. Why don't we gotta put the little gopher through college? Whoopsie. I accidentally pressed B twice. Oh my god. Sorry about that. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Alright, so... So we bought all the... Wait, no. We didn't buy all the party gear. Um, why don't we buy the polished dance floor this time? And... Well... Before I buy the neon dance floor, which we'll get that later, and trust me, it's really worth the buy once you get it. But I'll show it to you guys later. But first, I want to show you guys the polished dance floor. But I'll probably wait until the next chapter to buy a neon dance floor so you can get used to the polished dance floor. Um. Aside from that, maybe we should get. Um. How much stuff do we have left? We got. Wait, hang on. Let me see how much money I need. Okay, so 250 plus. 500, that's going to be 700, no, yeah, 750, um, make that 1,750, uh, Uh, 1,850. Wait. Can I buy this? Oh, wait, no, I guess I didn't. 1,850, so... so how's life on the surface? They treating you all right? 1,975. <sighs> 1,000... Thousand plus two thousand two hundred fifteen. No, two thousand. What am I saying? Two thousand. Okay, I lost count. Um, I'm just starting two thousand here. Okay. Everybody and we bought all our freshmen's right. Okay, so in the next next time we go buy a night barn. I will make sure I have at least 2,000 gopher bucks, alright? Alright. So next time we go here, we will have 2,000 gopher bucks, alright? Will you please, re please remind me? Well, actually, won't be able to, because by then I'll have, re I'll have the entire LP recorded, so yeah. It's too late. Um. Oh, wait. Well, duh, I guess I could buy something else. Other than just that. Well... I could take some money off. I'm not gonna buy a neon lights dance thing yet, just yet. Got the piano. Yay, speakers. Put 
let's see. Hang on a sec. Uh, let's just, uh... Free delivery. Jeez, I... Okay, let's buy the piano. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Decorations. Uh, let, actually, let's get the barrel table. Two barrel tables. There we go. That completes furniture. Decorations. Uh, we could get the tabletop vase. And then the ceiling fan. That's it for refreshments, furniture, decorations. So all that's left is... So that just leaves the PA speakers and the neon dance floor. So I just need to remember to have 1,500 gopher bucks. Okay, next time we go here. And then that will be the last two items left for the, left for the night barn. So next time we go here, we will get number one party animal. And that will just leave uh, completing story mode of the game. But we'll wait until next chapter to come back here and get the last stuff. Maybe even chapter 8. I don't know. Possibly. It'll either be chapter 7 or chapter 8. We can't do any of that's. I'm not going to hold off any of that stuff until chapter 9. Definitely not. Welcome to the night barn. Yeah, yeah. We're welcome everywhere we go. Because we're every animal's slave, so naturally we have to go everywhere they go. And it makes sense because most of them are here at the night barn. Alright, so let's take a look at the polished dance floor. There it is right there. And actually, once you get the polished dance floor, you can actually do something really cool. When you get on the polished dance floor, along with these guys... Oh wait, no, 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 I was wrong, okay. You need the neon neon dance floor for that, okay. I was gonna say that you can actually dance yourself. Yeah, your cow can actually dance if you have the neon dance floor. I thought you could do it with the polished dance floor, but I guess not. All the more reason to buy the neon dance floor, plus it looks cooler. Alright, let's talk to Root. You're doing fantastic! Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to show the the other two uh, barrel tables, but they're right right there ne behind Root. The barn is now 95% complete, which means there's only two stuff left. The cows really like those flowers vases you bought. Mostly, they just like to eat the flowers. Yeah, I know. Milkweed, awesome. Okay. Talk to him again. We got the new stuff. Check it out. The barn is now 95% complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pigs love all the tables they got. They sit there and eat all night. Here, take this milkweed. Okay. All right. So that's it. Yeah. Here's the two other barrel tables. Yeah. First time I bought these, I was like wondering, okay, why doesn't one of them go here? It didn't really make make sense to me. I, I was actually really surprised when it goes right here. I was actually wondering about that. It didn't really make sense to me. We are, we are five percent away from from becoming number one party animal. I'll show you guys what the I should probably show you guys what the completed night barn looks like down here. So you got the four mini games you can play. Including the milk bar, but I'm never gonna play any of these mini games ever again. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I might do future playthroughs of this game. I just won't. I just won't be showing you guys them anymore because I already have. And I already showed you guys in the last set in one of the previous episodes the uh, booths up there. They're pretty impressive. All right. So now we are going to find out tomorrow in the game, not in real life. But we're going to find out then if my n worst nightmare came true. Have a nice night. Yeah, yeah. All 
Alright. So let's find out, everybody, if my worst nightmare came true. I don't even care if we, if this takes 20 minutes, but... Yeah, this is a 20-minute episode. I don't really care, because I just want to know. I have a feeling it will be, though, because I have a bad feeling my hallucination was actually... It was actually all real. Wait, hang on. Crap. Oh, oh, game, you mock me so much. Now let's go this way, because now we know where Otis is. There's no way we can miss him now. Yeah, this episode will probably be 20 minutes long, because I... I have a bad feeling I know what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen. My hallucination is going to come true like it has for the past 34 episodes or so. Not, I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy this LP. I really, really enjoyed it. It's just the golf. It was the worst part of it. How about a round of golf? Did you hear that? I just smacked my forehead right there. Oh snap, you said it, Otis. I've already beaten the 18 holes, now what? And yeah, you tell that bastard. We thought of a new way to play. Oh, no you didn't. We call it precision golf. Instead of a time limit, you have a limited number of shots to get the ball into each hole dirty about that. <laughs> the less shots you take, the higher your score. Wanna try a round at Izzy Springs? What the heck, I'll give it a shot. Okay, at least, at least we're doing the Izzy Springs, Izzy Springs ones, okay? Thank God. As long as we don't, don't do the back ones, that's good, for, good enough for me. I don't mind that we're doing the Izzy Springs ones. Those are easy. So this might be, this might not be as bad as I would have thought it would be. Alright, hole one. Nice and simple. It's right there. But yeah, you get the idea. I don't really have to explain more than what Otis did. Still not really happy to, s to see golf again. So you get not They give you nine shots. And I just got a hole in one. Yeah, every t when you get a hole in one, you get an, an extra life. This is actually the first time in the, in the game I actually got a hole in one. I was pretty impressed there. Maybe we can sneak through the rest of the game and avoid getting the back nine. Hopefully, just never ever say the G word to Otis ever again. Never. I don't care if we played the full 18 holes to make him feel better about his dad, his father dying. But please. Is it really worth worth it to torture torture me? With those full 18 holes. Sucked. Yeah, they give you. I think they. I think it's the same for all of the Izzy Springs. Right. Izzy Springs holes. They just give you nine, nine, nine shots for each one. You got a long I was gonna say nine hots. Now you know how that's supposed to be. It's supposed to make sense at all. No, oh, I just screwed that up. I don't care. Still not frustrated because I know Izzy Springs isn't that bad. Hole nine's a little annoying, but it's not that bad. I don't remember having any, any trouble with it before. I never even remember actually losing on any of the Izzy Springs holes, which is good because it would have been the most embarrassing moment in gaming history if that happened. Not literally. I probably would have been over -exagger exaggerating if that was the case. We're already on hole five, all right. Oh, I, I really screwed it up there, big time. Oh, dude, seriously. Well, at least you don't have a time limit. That's it's good to know that you don't have a 
you don't have a time limit because now he, it's not as much pressure, but still. When you have, I still have a problem with having limited shots, though. Alright, hole six. I actually got a hole in one on this. Believe it or not, I actually got. Yeah. I keep on repeating myself. I don't know why. Lately, that's what I've been doing a lot in this, ep in this LP is just repeating myself every every sentence I ever say. I always repeat it. It's so annoying. I I know it's it's really annoying. I'm trying to stop that, but I just don't know how. It makes me annoying. What was I saying before I start complaining about myself? You know, repeating everything I say. Which is still, it's, I'm not happy with being my sentences, but it would be nice if I remembered what to say. Pretty much forgot what I was talking about after that. Oh yeah, yeah, I said that I got, I once got a hole-in-one on hole six, believe it or not. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe, but I really did. I don't know why I'm talking so quietly here, but it's probably because I'm concentrating. We're gonna need a lot of that if we actually do the back nine. I'm really pissed if we actually have to do the back nine. Uh. Whoa, did you see that? That was impressive. Alright, hole nine. So this wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. My nightmare may have came true, but at least it was in the back nine, so in a way it was okay. Still. Well, if we do the back nine, then that's gonna suck. Alright. Left, score, star. Alright, we got star on precision, nine holes, there we go. And we're already at the top of the list, wow. wonder how many stars I have at this point. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm Barnyard Champion still. Every time it sounds like it says whore. <laughs> you totally mastered that. Next time we'll see how you go on the back. No, no, Otis, no. Don't make me do a back nine a third time. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that in that case. Until then, you can come down here in Izzy Springs anytime you want to play some pre more precision golf. Again, never, ever again. I might just do that, Otis. Not. Okay, so that's going to be it for Chapter 6, everybody. So, thank you for watching. Later. In the next episode, we will start Chapter 8. So, yep, thank you for watching Chapter 6 episode. Eight of Let's Play Barnyard, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.